Good day, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Viper of Viperland, and I am back unexpectedly, or slightly unexpectedly, in Path of Exile. I had said that tonight was going to be <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn, but I was just kind of mindlessly leveling this character off camera, and hot damn am I having fun with it. So, even though it's another leveling character, I decided to pop this up. I'm currently level 45 in Act 2, Cruel. The concept of this character, fairly simple. I'm a berserker who casts spells. You might think that's weird. It's not. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Excuse me. Where's the right button? There's the right button. So, at the moment, I've only done the normal labyrinth because I can't do the cruel labyrinth. I'm an act too cruel. We're going to take a lot of health stuff, and we're going to take this, which is every time we take 15% of our maximum HP as damage in one hit, we get 100% of damage leached as life, 50% extra damage, and increased attack speed. We're going to take that plus the Veil Pact over here for Life Leech applies instantly. So every time we get hit for more than 15% of our life in a hit, we just start leeching everything. Combine that with a ton of cast when damage taken gems, and we generally want to be damaged. Our main offense is probably one of the more entertaining combinations I've seen. We have... Cast while channeling, which is simple. While we're channeling a spell, it'll automatically cast another spell. Link to Scorching Ray. Scorching Ray, beam of fire that burns all enemies it touches and decreases their resistance to fire. Very important. Makes them vulnerable to fire. Uh, remaining in the beam burns it longer. They have a duration. They get burned. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, da -da -da -da. Deals a bunch of fire damage per second. They can have a standing debuff. And it just, it shreds their fire resist. And while we're channeling that, Firestorm is cast, raining down fiery balls of fire from the, the sky. Normally, our cast with this would actually take fairly long, but with castle channeling, it happens, uh, our cast speed is every less than half a second, we get cast another Firestorm. That's our main offense. We got a bunch of damage leech, even just from this on our way there, 1% of damage le leached as life, 1% as mana, and 2% as life and mana if we've killed recently. In the context of that, it recently counts as 4 seconds. Add to that, flammability on blasphemy, so anything around us in a radius takes more fire damage, and anger, that just plain and simply adds fire damage to spells. Reserves most our mana, but this is a cheap cost, and we leech damage as mana. So... In practice, the build looks like this. <laughs> As we right-click our Kamehameha, firestorms rain down. Now, no matter where we're pointing, we choose where the firestorms go based off where our pointer is along the beam. If we have the pointer close to us, firestorm near us. Pointer far away, firestorm far away. Simple, effective. That's our only attack button right now, because everything else is linked to cast while damage taken. We've got a few different setups. We've got a Immortal Call, so we can take less damage. We've got a bunch of other things, which is unfortunately going to have to do a lot of me keeping levels straight. Uh, keeping the levels of cast when damage taken at an appropriate level. All this other stuff here, I can effectively take off. They, they may as well not be there. I can't cast them on their own. They're all linked to cast when damage taken, and when you do that, you can't manually link it. But just the... This build was leveling as a... Uh, Firestorm character, which I've played a Firestorm character before. It's okay. It's not bad. It's effective, but it's not the most fun. So leveling the character was kind of tedious, and I didn't like it until I got... I think it's level 38 or something you get the ability to do the cast while channeling support and hot damn like yeah it doesn't have the pure damage right now of the summoner against a single target that's the summon raging spirits against a single target the summoner right now would have more damage but once we get that cruel labyrinth point in our survivability is going to be stupid our survivability is going to be stupid I should point out, uh, in a second, the build guide I am following for this, not to claim it in any way as my original creation, because it ain't. None of my builds are. Uh, I might dabble in an original build at some point, but right now, once I can flip and get safe for a second, I'm following, let's see if we can find the guy's name, or gal, I'm not sure. I am following 
Captain Warlords and Guardian Breach Lord League Starter New Build. Uh, this one, the Project Breaker. And so far, it's proven to be very effective. The problem is, really quick, I guess I can show. It's going to be a lot of la -da -da, keeping levels of castle damage taken ready at max level. There's going to be a lot of, come on, is it that far down? Yes, it is. It's a lot of making sure these don't surpass level 19 and these don't last level surpass level whatever. It's going to be a lot of that, which will be a small pain. I also accidentally minimized my stuff. There we go. But man, I didn't realize how quickly it was going to cast Firestorm, which again, was already doing okay just using Firestorm. That got me to this point. You add the Scorching Ray to lower their fire resistance, and you can... I'm doing enough damage, and as such, leeching enough damage, that I can pretty much just stand here. Admittedly, it's only cruel, so we're not talking super high level to stuff yet, and I do need a staunching flask. I've proven that repeatedly now. A uh, corrupting blood will murder me, and it's gonna happen. But t in the meantime, look at this. Just stand still, circle around, point the, the firestorms where they need to be, melt the fire resist where it needs to be. I guess it's not the fastest moving build, but if that's my biggest complaint, then eventually, apparently, it's gonna get shield charge, and I could socket it somewhere. But, like, I don't know, it's doing well, and I'm having a flippin' blast with it. Also, until I got that uh, normal Labyrinth point, mana was an issue, but as soon as I got 1% mana leech, that's all I need. Technically, I get about 3% if I've killed recently, but... So, oh, hey, look, a Scorching Ray. It doesn't hurt that on my Summon Raging Spirits character, I did get both a 5% quality Scorching Ray and Castle Channeling. Not that 5% is that great, but it was enough of a push, like, I was already looking at this character. I think this was uh, one of the final characters for the build. The pole going into this. Let's see if we can pop. Yes, we can. I'm just using League Stones as I get them. When I get to higher levels, I'll worry about which ones I use where and whatnot. As I'm leveling this character, they have a max level, so it's just like, screw it, use whatever I got. The game pretty much handed me those. Even though I am still solo self-found, you can still use items you found on your other solo self-found character. So, oh, ooh, ooh, okay, hold on, we're popping this. Uh, ancient Reliquary Keys can drop very rare things. <laughs> very rare things. They can also drop absolutely nothing. So, newest follower is the seventh position? Oh, it's seventh now instead of seventh. Huh, I'll have to see why they changed their name. But what not, what, or whatever. I'm gonna go pop this reliquary key. <laughs> Fingers crossed, this could, this could have really good stuff in it. It could also have something rubbish. What I got last time was fairly rubbish, but whatever. The concept of the ancient reliquary pretty much it has things from throughout Path of Exile's history before they were changed. If an item was too, super powerful and nerfed, this can contain its pre-nerf thing. If an item was super weak and buffed, it can also contain the pre... Alright, let's see what this will be. It's going to also contain the pre-buff versions. The Covenant Spider Silk Robe. Socket of Gems is supported by level 15 added cast damage. Ooh... Intelligence, whatever. Reduced life, that could suck a little. Increased energy shield. Oh, for if you're doing CI, that's not too bad. And, oh, blood magic? Huh. It's a very strange combination. I have no idea what that's worth <laughs> at all. I'm also on a solo league, so whatever it's worth, eh, it wouldn't matter to me much. <clears throat> they also give it a nice little shimmery look that I enjoy. Like, you can actually see the rainbow effect on the item. The only other one I've gotten is a bow is okay, I guess. Neither of them are like the big ticket items, but you know, it's still, that's only the second key I found this entire league. It's through all my characters. Back to where we were. Oh, and I forgot to say from the chat, Shadow Rose Gaming, Mako Shin, and Lightning Ketchup are all currently auto-hosting me. All three of you are wonderful human beings, and I always enjoy seeing people's names pop up as the auto-host. You're fantastic. And everything. Tonight's stream might be a little shorter than some others, simply because I have to be at work again early tomorrow, 
end tonight's the night that the clocks change over and I lose an hour of sh sleep. If I stream till 2 in the morning, for all intents and purposes, I'm actually streaming till 3 in the morning. Because at 2 a.m., at 1.59, the clock will then tick over to 3 a.m. instead of 2 a.m. due to daylight savings. But at the same time, I am having a lot of fun, and I'll probably just say screw it and caffeinate myself up tomorrow for work. Though, tomorrow's gonna suck at work. We have... I work at a grocery store, and... Currently, if you're not watching live, if you're watching the archives, it is Saturday night. Tuesday, in my area, we are forecasted to have a large amount of snow for the beginning of March. Uh, like several feet. So, not several feet, uh, like a foot and a half so far is what the schedule is. Or forecast. We'll see how that actually plays out. Yeah, so people go crazy in grocery stores when snow is forecasted, especially anything over like six inches. So the upcoming few days will be chaotic. As such, I might actually be swapping up what I'm going to play the next few days. Tomorrow might be Horizon Zero Dawn, or if I'm honestly feeling just wiped out after work, I might pick something chill. Uh, specifically, I know No Man's Sky just had a major update, and I didn't really get to play its previous major update. That has been one of my go-to chill games when it came out, so that might happen. It also might not. It might be Horizon Zero Dawn, or it might be something else chill, I'm not sure. Monday will probably... Monday will be either Path of Exile or Horizon Zero Dawn. Tuesday... Tuesday depends on if we get enough snow to keep me out of work. If I go to work, it'll be a normal day, we'll have Monster Hunter. It'll be a good damn time, honestly. However, there's also the possibility... If I don't go to work, if we have enough snow that I'm just not going... We'll still probably have Monster Hunter later, but I might do a slightly earlier stream. And it might include a very special guest. It actually might include my dad. I've been trying to get him on a stream for a while, but our, our schedules very, very rarely sync up. I specifically really think he'd enjoy a game I have on Steam, which is Brutal Legend. Fantastic game. Not just a fantastic game, but the best part of that game is the first hour or so, which would be the like, it would probably be like an hour or so stream. That one might not get archived, though. That game has a lot of trademarked music, so that might just be a live thing and not end up archived. Depends on how YouTube slash Twitch treat it. We'll see. All of this is kind of up in the air. The short version is, I don't really know what the next few days hold for the stream, but I'll do something. Let me check the tree on the other monitor. I forgot to actually bring it up. la -de da so we could do either life or we can go towards blast radius. I think we're going to do some more... You know what? We don't need the life right now. Honestly, we're not taking big hits. So I'm going to keep moving towards blast radius, some life and mana, and keep moving over this way. We, we want to get here by about level 65 or so. Before we start mapping, we want to get there. We'll see how well that goes. I could always take some points out of where I put them and move them forward. We'll figure things out as we go. For now, if I notice myself getting low on life, we're close to life nodes and I can deal with that. Ooh, superior, 7%. Eh, not high enough. So most of the skills that I have linked to cast some damage taken are other fire skills. You'll notice, honestly, sometimes it'll cast a firestorm, sometimes it'll cast a fireball, sometimes it'll counts, cast a bouncing magma orb. There's several options for things that it can cast when I take hits. But not all of them might work all the time. I have to get the levels right. Cast some damage taken, the guide I'm following goes into heavy detail to the mechanics behind what it can and cannot cast and how it chooses it. But then it also has an easy to follow, level this skill to this level, link it with this, you'll be fine. Which I'm just following. La -de -da, stand in the middle of a breach and just melt, you know, everything. Hello, 7th position. You are also my most recent follower. Did you create an alternate account with 7th as 7th? 
I, I loaded up my Steam labels and it's like or stream labels and it's like, oh hey, seventh position was my most uh Yeah, it's pretty much the death laser class. It's fire. My laser makes things weak to fire, and because of an awesome skill gem called Cast While Channeling, I can rain down fire while I'm melting their resistance to fire. It's just it's fire everywhere. So, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I said I was gonna do Horizon Zero Dawn, but I just ended up getting caught up in this, and, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to stream what I enjoy. And right now it's this. It's just raining fire on everything. Hello, Rev! Welcome to Everland and the chat on a fire-raining, fire-beaming Path of Exile evening. Sadly, I checked, and there is no microtransaction for Scorching Ray. It's too new of a skill. They didn't... Oh, that's weird. You can't stream on that one? It's very strange. Thankfully, it's easy enough to make another another account. It's still super weird, but it's not a difficult thing. La -da -da. Yeah, so this build... <laughs> it will suck if we inevitably find something that is super resistant to fire, but even if we do, we melt resistance with this. We legitimately... Let's see, where's the exact one? Ah, uh, da da yeah, so the most I can bring them to is negative 20 fire resist, which is not bad, considering most of them would be at a positive. <gasps> Excuse me, fire resist. At the moment, I lack any real movement skill, and I don't even think my boots have any movement speed on them, so I should look into that. Oh, I have no stones to use either. So he's a little slow and clunky, but everything dies. And I've got so much leech, and my items are terrible. Like the, the items I'm wearing are legitimately just garbage. But it doesn't matter. Oh, I did like... I found a unique wand that I'm using at the moment. I'll show it in a second once I'm less afraid of dying from these guys. Thank you. This is a new character, yes. But the, the thing I'm enjoying about this character at the moment... Come on. Besides raining death and destruction and fire and all that. Come on. Just stop spawning enemies. Beautiful. This wand, 10% chance to cast Summon Raging Spirits when I kill something. So those little flaming head buddy guys that I built my other previous summoner character about. I have not retired that character, by the way. I'm still going to be playing them. I just felt like playing some of this one tonight. I have a 10% chance to just summon one of those every time I kill an enemy. So sometimes we'll just see those skulls pop out anyway. Also, this does increase burning damage, which is wonderful for me. But, like, this is a terrible helmet. It's good for resist. That's it. This is a mediocre amulet. It's a slightly better fire ring, some mediocre resist, terrible gloves, terrible boots, and a really terrible shield. I've had this shield since level 12. I got this shield at level 12, and I'm currently level 46. I just... it doesn't matter. Right now, things aren't getting to me, so my shield is irrelevant. I will have to upgrade them at some point, obviously. You can't take level 12 gear to end game, it just doesn't work. But right now, the socket colors are actually much more important than the stats on most of my gear. Getting the red, blue, blue, red, blue, blue, red, blue, 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 red, 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 are important. Which is why this one's tough. This is an evasion helmet, so it naturally wants to roll green sockets, and I don't need green on anything. Which is why my helmet is even worse right now. But it's got 37 to all resist, so screw it. It keeps my resistances covered. Good for now, until I can start really replacing things. So, 7th, what have you been streaming? I don't think I've... I think you've mentioned once before that you were going to start streaming things. But I don't think I spotted it. Possibly because I didn't know you had to make a new account for it. I also, oddly enough, don't watch too much Twitch, which is something I should remedy. When I'm just mindlessly, like, leveling a character or just chilling, I should boot up people's Twitches. That would be pretty nifty. Occasionally I hop into Shadow Rose's because they're usually one of the few people on when I go to check. I'll also, I'll have to follow your new account so I can spot you streaming. If the, the one the one shown down there is the one that you'll be streaming on, I'll, 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 I'll add that one. Wow. Words. I can speak them perfectly well. Yep. Words. I'm, I'm good at words. Paladins. I... I am aware of the game's existence, but beyond that, I know very little of it. 
I know people relate it to Overwatch, whether that's factual or not, I'm not sure. That's really the extent of my knowledge of it, but I also believe it's free to play, which is pretty nice. Dragon Nest. I've heard the name, but I know nothing of it. I assume it's got dragons in it, but that's about it. There you go. Just, you know, melt a boss, take very little damage, leech the rest of it back. We do have a fair amount of life regen, as you can see, but that won't matter eventually. Because eventually we're getting this point, where life leech leeches instantly instead of over time, but life regeneration will have no effect. Thankfully, potions won't, will be exempt from that. Potions will work. Alright, we got... Uh, da -da, none of those are that great. So let's just grab a healing flask. Screw it, what do I care? You don't have anything for us. You don't have anything for us. None of you have anything for us. Perfect. Let's see. I do keep going back to my stash tab of uniques that I found on my other character just to see if any of them are wearable by me. That's why I've got unique armor, the helmet, the ring, those were all found on the summoner. And I'm just, you know, using them here. Cyclone goes way to fudge over here, and we see if these are worth anything. New health potion, beautiful. Physical damage with staves and strength, nope. Armor, life, cold, nope. So. Screenplay of you feeding the other team. Oh, I feel that on a... I feel that. I really do. That's pretty much all of my MOBA experience. Uh, da -da. No, that's not that great. Ah, 18 to all resist actually isn't terrible. But I think for now we're okay. When we can use the shield, I might give it a shot. Because that is a great shield. We're using it on the other character now because it's flipping phenomenal and I wish I had the decks to use this while leveling because 54 to all elemental resist is just you're done you wear that while leveling and you don't have to worry about resist at all till you hit max level and you go wow this weapon is god awful uh, da -da, let's go kill the bandit guy da -da 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 -da. I also, I don't know, I just, I like builds that snowball effectively. Like, tagging them with the beam does damage. But keeping them in the beam, they take an increased burn and it melts their fire resist, so the fire, the firestorm can really take them down. I can, hold on, let me see if this works. I have a microtransaction for firestorm. I don't use it very often, hold on, you die. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh... In the expansion that they're bringing out in a few months, they have promised that they're going to change the the way the microtransaction page works because this isn't sortable. You can't even move anything around if you want. They said they're going to change all this, which will be great. Till then, let me see if I can find the Siege Firestorm skill. What the hell is hitting me? Stop it! I'm trying to do something here, guys. Leave me be for a minute. Where the hell would it go? Uh... Oh, hold on. I can. Firestorm! Siege Firestorm. Let's, uh, pop that guy there. And now it's got a slightly boomier... It's also much louder. Its, it's sound is a bit more noticeable, but hey, whatever. I'll try it for a little bit. This actually used to lag the frame rate on my other computer. Because, I don't know how well you can tell, but when they land, they actually split apart into pieces. So my old computer would actually occasionally be like, Uh, you know, maybe this is too much. And this computer's like, uh, was I supposed to notice that at all? Because, you know, I'm just not. Latency jumps up, but frame rate is fine. Uh, we have no more prophecy st or league zones, and we're on our last one. But if the game's not going to give us any, we can't do much about it. And I guess now we'll be able to see the difference between a Firestorm we cast and one that comes off of cast some damage taken, because those ones are un-microtransactioned. Uh, da -da. I don't know if those need to be leveled yet or not. Again, it's very specific about what to level for the cast some damage taken, which can be a pain. But it's all, in theory, the final result of this build will be... Just insane. Just insane. 
in theory, again. I won't have currency to spend, but I could always convert this character solo to the non-solo self-found league if I find myself in need of trading for things. Anything around the outside? I do have to remember I do have a Quicksilver. I gotta use it to find the Clasping Hands. Even just one or two. Hey look, another cast of damage taken. We're not gonna pick it up, we got plenty. Uh, unfortunately for this I have to check real quick. Is this this fireball? Alright, that fire needs to go up to level 12, so it's good now. And magma orb is probably this magma orb. Okay, it yeah, changed down there, so that also has to hit level 12, so those are now good. La -di -da -da. Just melt all these guys. I should hit the waypoint. I doubt I'll need to come back here, but you never know. It's better to hit it. Also, my mic is falling. Hold on, let me tighten the mic stand a little better. Ah, that should do it. It was definitely moving downward. Very slowly. Sadly, since we don't have any skill points towards summon raging spirits or things that would support it well, it pops out but it lasts for like three seconds, does like two headbutts and leaves. But it's a free cast just from equipping a weapon, which already helps our burning damage, so it's hard to hard to say no to it for the moment. This isn't like an end game viable weapon, but it's a damn decent leveling weapon it seems. Yeah, our shield is oak. Yeah, no, our shield's terrible. What am I talking about? But our shield's got the right socket colors, and that's what matters. You, sir, uh, will die. Oh no, he moved behind me. I guess we'll turn our beam around. Yeah, well, he's burning a little bit. Let's just tag everybody. Make sure they all die. Wonderful. Simple, effective. You did. And pop that guy over there for the moment. Oh, we could do the side quest, but I don't care about it right now. I'm not speedrunning the game, but I'm not really caring too much about optional side quests that don't give a skill point right now. If it gives gives a skill point, I'll be doing it, because hell yeah, skill points. But if it doesn't, uh, I don't really care. And what one do we still have? Oh, a breach! Okay, so we're still doing one... This one in the next area will have a breach somewhere. I may or may not find them, but they'll be here. And we are 46 in a 45 zone, so we're about where we should be. And our resist should be just fine. We got a super good helmet, yeah. Without it, we'd be a little screwed, but with it, we're fine. Welcome back, 7th. Still shooting fire? Still, ah, uh, still no movement skill to get over there. Welp, we'll go around. Certain movement skills, like Leap Slam, can cross gaps like that and just continue on. But I clearly, uh, which of these will level and which of these won't? I'm honestly not sure. I'll have to check. When I hit a new area, I'll check it. Not really, nothing to nothing to pummel over here. The longest time I've gone between killing things. I don't know, the Siege Firestorm's okay, but I kinda actually prefer it without it. So let's do that. Screw it. Let's reclaim effect. And put it back as is. Also, I need to level that Firestorm, but not the other, I think. Let's see. Firestorm level 9, Flame Surge level 9. Those have got to stay. Let's take that and that out real quick. That should leave just the one we want to level. Put these guys back. And tell the game not to level them. Perfect. All is well. 
our main damage one is leveling up for the damage and our other ones stay the reason we have to limit some of the levels is cast when damage taken can only support skills up to a certain level which is relevant so if i've got it linked if i've got this one cast when damage taken level three uh can only support skills requiring level 42 or lower this is at 41 Right, 41, and that's at 41. If I leveled them up, it wouldn't work. But as it is, it works just fine. And the concept behind those is when we get our big ability, that lets us, once we've taken a big hit, to leech it all back from damage. Those will be damage that'll be damage we don't have to worry about. In theory against a lot of weaker enemies, we could simply stand still, and we would not die. We wouldn't have to attack. Sure, bosses could wreck us. Sure, certain things could wreck us. Poison damage will be able to destroy us. The build guide actually has a very specific list of things that can and will kill you. And like anything with the... Uh, there's certain enemies that can cast like a lightning thorns on them, so that for every tick of damage you do, they reflect a static amount. Let's say 40 damage. I don't know what the number is. Since none of that damage does 15% of your health in a single hit, it'll destroy you. It'll just, it'll melt you to death pretty instantly. Which is like, no build is indestructible. And I like that. This is going to be strong and survivable in theory for a lot of the harder content, but definitely not indestructible. <laughs> I just, honestly, I want a build that will be able to do the Breach Lords and the summoner, while a ton of fun and probably going to be the better option for mapping, would not... It's already falling behind in breaches. Like, most breaches I do with the summoner, they just don't have the concentrated damage on a group. And I start getting wrecked. Flammability, you can level up to whatever, it doesn't matter. For, like, leveling, for doing maps and stuff, summoner's probably the better option, honestly. But now, now I will have choices. Pop that point, murder you guys, and real quick, pop, where the hell is this point going? We're going down here. Increased area of effective skills. There. So now, I believe that makes the beam a little wider, but it also increases the radius of how many, uh, not how many Firestorm bits will drop, but the radius of it, you know. The radius in which they will drop is what I was looking for. Yeah, it's not even worth just picking out one guy. Oh, we're so slow, though. And since this one and the summoner share the same stash, any currency I find here I can use there, and vice versa. So that helps out quite a bit, too. Here we gotta do three things. We gotta kill the guy at the end of the path, we gotta kill the witch off the beaten path, and we have to enter the spider lair and kill Sir Spiders a lot. Which is not his actual name, but you know. The first two have tells, like one is at the end of the path, that's easy to find. The other one, you, there's a clearly defined break in the path. The spider's a little harder. It'll be on the opposite side of the break in the path, but it could, oh, there you go. You just gotta look for that different texture in the map. But it's random. It could be on the left of the path, could be on the right of the path, could be towards the entrance, could be towards the exit. It's random. It moves around. Actually found it fairly readily this time. So yay. Uh, there we go. So we kill the spider, do the rest of it. And pretty much just keep an eye out for major gear upgrades. Jewelry is going to be the main thing to catch my eye because I don't have to worry about sockets for it. Helmet would be great too. A strong helmet would be nice. Because our current helmet is just a resist stick. That's it. And our shield is pretty terrible, too. So if I can upgrade those, that would go a long way. Our belt was the same one. I actually kept a lot of my really good leveling gear from the summoner. And this is one of the belts left over from the summoner. And hot damn, at a level 35 belt, it's got over 100 life on it, which is some good shit right there. 
that flat 100 life is modified by all the stuff on my tree that modifies life. So all this stuff that does percent life, percent life, percent life, that all makes that 100 way more than an actual just 100. Actually, let's say if I were to take it off, I'd go from 2,500 to 2,200. So, okay, it's not giant, but it, it helps. It's the difference between a one-shot and not getting one-shot, so. Also, most of my life regen is based off a percent of my max health right now. So, the higher health I have, the more I regen per second. Until I take that point that does away with it. A little later on. I kind of, considering how well this does on a 4 link, I'd be really curious to see what I could push with it on a, a 5 or 6 link. That's another, another link I can add to it for more damage or whatever I decide to use. I, f I think the build guide recommended controlled destruction and something else, I don't remember. It's the extra links. Yeah, I'll hit the boss right away. You... Pop that. And let's just take this guy. La dee da. Melt the spider. Leech all the damage back. Come on, I need I need more targets. I need some mana leech. Can't just leave me hanging here. Gotta give me stuff to kill. Otherwise I'll burn myself out of mana. Wonderful. Got the spike. Ah, uh, crud. It's actually... I didn't tag the waypoint out there, so I should actually run back to the entrance of this place. That was a mistake. I should have hit the waypoint. Well, whatever. We didn't even have to run far into this place. Normally I take all sorts of wrong turns in here. This place usually is a bit more winding. This was a fairly direct shot. Very direct shot, actually. A little bit of luck, for once. I can't even say for once. I got the sweet wand on this character, too. Just wandering around, and the wand drops, and it's like, oh, that's really good for the build I'm working on. Wonderful. Anything that ups fire damage, uh, burn damage, spell damage is going to be good for me. This does all of that, so it's not shabby. Come on, you die. Even enemies resistant to fire... Oh, this is just melting through them. I also have it linked to a fire penetration gem to begin with, so I'm already penetrating resistance. Where is the waypoint? Probably up here. This is the break in the path that'll lead to the witch. But I need to find the waypoint first, just to have it. It's a good thing to have. Which will almost always be directly off the road, probably about up here. Come on. Did I just... Ah, there it is. And now to kill the witch. You can help one of the bandits per difficulty to get a different reward. Oh, we're killing all of them. A new Torment League Stone. Pop that on. Why not? We're out of League Stones. What's that too? Anyway, Tormented Spirits will have increased duration, so it gives us more time to kill them. That would have mattered before we got the Scorching Ray set up. Now, I don't think there was going to be any issue killing these guys. Oh, hey, look, and the witch is right here, too. Hello, Miss Witch. How you doing? Good. Uh, you die. Like we, She could give us 5% cast speed, which isn't bad, but if you kill all of them, you get a skill point. And skill points are pretty, pretty useful. There you go. And sure, we'll melt you, too. Now we just go get our skill point from down this way. Our stupid little running character. Alright, stop following us. Yep, just gonna waddle on in this direction. <clears throat> we do have a breach to hit, though. That's something. 
Hello, Breach. Get us some loot, please. Specifically some splinters. That would be the best. Now, these breaches on the summoner were wrecking me. Specifically this one, the, the all Natal ones, really just messing me up badly. They would do enough AoE damage that my minions couldn't kill them in time before they died. But now it's like, no, you can do all the damage to me you want. I'm going to be killing some of you. And that makes a huge difference. It's worth noting, this character, the build creator, originally made this character specifically to farm breaches. The Breach Lords, like, that was the design of the character. Was to be good at that. It's also the same person who made a nigh-indestructible character who could AFK some of the hardest bosses in the game, but you can't do that on a budget character. That required some very expensive gear. But you could do it if you had the right build and the right gear, and you just did a whole bunch of cast when damage setup, da cast when damage taken setups. You could legitimately take some of the th most frightening bosses in this game and stand still. You used pretty much the same mechanics that this one does, just cranked up to like eleven, uh, probably even further than that. But it's the same mechanic as when we take a big hit, we leash all of our damage back for f however many seconds. And they just apply that to a ton of AoE skills. They'd kept getting hit and they wouldn't die. Damn it, we used our bleak stone here. Well, whatever. Stupid me. Let's just go get our skill point. And... Oh, hold on. I've totally left an earlier quest uncollected. I should probably not do that. Apparently I left... Several quests uncollected. Yeah, wow. I guess I just went straight from... Alright, so we had two skill points and a helmet. Whoops. Intelligence, armor, energy shield, life, mana, fire resist. We don't need much fire resist. It's still not bad. I can roll better sockets on it. If I were to swap to that, theoretically... What would it do to my resistances? We would go from max everything to max most things except lightning. Honestly, I'm willing to take that hit. We do lose increased rarity of items found, but whatever. Let's real quick quality this. To make it a little more likely that we get four sockets. A little more likely that they're four linked. Wow, okay, well that worked. And we can actually pop our other Castle Damage Taken set up there that we weren't using yet because we didn't have the sockets for it. Castle Damage Taken, Firestorm, Flame Surge, and another Fireball. So all of our setups are set except for... No, no except for. That's all of our Castle Damage Taken setups and our main skill all pretty much ready to go. This one we're going to have to level the right way. Uh, hold on, what level do those need to be? Because they're going to start flying. la -de -da, -de da da Just a second while I check this on the other screen. Let's see, we want a... Level 4 cast on damage taken. It's at 1, so we're good. Uh, Firestorm and Flame Surge at level 10. So we're still under that. And Fireball at 13. Alright, so they are still under where they need to be. The helmet needs to go way over here. So lightning is now a little dangerous to us, but we'll manage. I hope. Oh yeah, a whopping ten of those. Some good stuff there. Why is this sitting here? Because I didn't equip it yet. These melee damage don't matter worth a damn. Sell that nonsense off. Two skill points. What's that under the top of the screen? Uh, this one? That's my latency meter. Other than that, I'm not... Yeah, if you're talking that, that's the, my latency. I just keep it up just so I can see, but I can hide it. You can also have it display FPS latency and frame time, but I usually just keep it latency. So I can see little bumps and things start to go south. It's really just a bad habit. Lately it hasn't had any issues. Why am I selling those? I'm an idiot. It's a bad habit from back when the game used to have desync ages ago. They fixed it a long time back. But it's still become a habit of mine. More area of effect. 
more area damage. And let's go back to the skill tree over on the second monitor so I can spot what I'm doing. Beautiful. So, we got the spike, we can turn in here. Then we gotta progress through there, and we're actually flying through Act 2. This is going fairly quickly. We got everybody but one of the bandits dead. We don't need any of these. We can grab another castle damage taken if we need it. We don't. At all. <laughs> Just end up selling it later. Hello, Cat of Technology! Welcome to Viperland and the chat! On a very, very fire-oriented Path of Exile night, life is pretty damn good. We have a large snowstorm incoming, so I will very, very likely get to call out of work on Tuesday. Uh, as of now, even a few days out, they're forecasting 9 to 16 inches on Tuesday, so I'm gonna get make it to work. Just a, just a hunch. So that's always a plus. How about you? How goes the cat life? Oh, fine. We'll just melt that last guy real quick. La -da -da. Oh, builds like this, I like builds that have the potential to be super tanky while also, of course, doing some damage. You don't want to have a zero damage build. That would be silly. But I also just, I love when mechanics work well together like this. There are other channel spells you could do. There are other spells you could link castle and channeling to. This just seems the perfect setup. Scorching Ray melts their fire resist, so obviously you want a fire spell. Yeah, and a Warframe. I keep... That's one of those things that keeps coming up. People like that game. I've just not had the time to sit down and give it a shot. I know it's free, so I know I could try it at any time. I just... There's been so many other AAA games, or games that might not be AAA that I love, Path of Exile, that have been coming out recently that I haven't been looking for other free games. Path of Exile has been my go-to free game of choice at the moment. And for a while, given that I have roughly uh, 1,300 hours into it, plus whatever I played before it was on Steam, which, spoilers, was a lot. There we go, that's Oak. We will murder him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before he even finish that, I, a lot of free-to-play games are not the most new player friendly. This one is... Experience-wise, it's success It's friendly to new players. Like, you're not going to have people just stomping all over you. But Path of Exile doesn't do the best job of explaining mechanics. I'll, I'll, that's like one of the few downsides I could really say for the game. But I love the damn game. But I've been here since, not the beginning, but damn close to it. I've been here since very soon after they went closed beta. Do I have friends that active, actively play Warframe? No. Other viewers have mentioned it before. But, like, nobody I know IRL plays the game. But I've had viewers mention it before. I should grab that extra skill point real quick in town. If we're going to head towards the last boss anyway. Grab the skill point. Oh wait, I had to grab that thing, but whatever. Let's see. They want me to grab this and keep going down. I can do that. So then bring us to mana, energy, shield, intelligence. Uh, it's not that great, but something I need to move by. I'll take that sucker and go back over here. Really would like more League Stones game. If you could just hand me a whole bunch of League Stones, it would probably help if I actually murdered more things. Which one do we have going? That's the Tormented Spirit. Okay, I haven't even found one yet. Oh, so you get carried. <laughs> Interesting. Uh huh. Damn it. Which is the level 10 fireball? Is that that one? That's level 10, right? That's the one? Yes. Uh, what is that going up to? I uh, forget. I think that goes up to 13. So, yes, it is indeed being leveled. Chaos Golem, don't care.
I do have some defensive flasks, but as you can see, I've not had a chance... I've not had a reason to use them. I've got one that gives us a chance to avoid spell damage. I think spell damage. No! Hold on, let me beat this guy first. Chance to avoid and evade attacks, and I've also got one that just gives me a ton of physical resist, I think? Catalyst. Gets me a Veil Orb. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever found the Catalyst before. I think that's a new card to me. Yeah, we've got one that does physical damage reduction, and one that does chance to dodge attacks and dodge spells. Which is, eh, okay. Oh, it's interesting that items are what make you stronger. Or power creep isn't quite there. I like to just open a door, shoot a laser into the room, and leave, you know. Everything in there is going to die. Where is the exit to this place? This place can be fairly long and winding. Sometimes you get a, a very easy and convenient layout. More often than not, you don't. Not that it's super difficult to begin with, but it can be fairly winding. Hollowed mana, yeah, I don't need that. Anything mana flask related, no longer important. I also just kind of enjoy the concept of I'm, I'm a marauder, I'm a berserker. This is a character meant for doing, like, melee damage and stuff, but at the same time, it makes a darn good spellcaster. <laughs> sure, I don't get any real bonuses to the spells, but I get bonuses to the leech from it, allowing me to just live. You could easily make the argument an elementalist would have more damage. You'd probably be right. and I wouldn't have to worry about reflect, but screw it. Like, yeah, even the picture there, it's like, yep, that's me as a spellcaster now. The next one we'll actually get will be the Fantastic Node. Merciless Lab will get us uh, attack speed if I've hit recently and movement speed if I haven't been hit recently. Then on to Aspect of Carnage. 40% more damage, but you take 10% more, which works out well, because it procs our other one more often. They're your literal taxi. Interesting. I remember when Warframe came out, it caught my eye as an interesting concept, but then I just never really did anything with that knowledge. It was just kind of, eh, it's there, I'm aware of its existence, but I'm playing other games. Can I shoot through that? I can! Wonderful. Will you all die then? Yeah, I should actually allocate that skill point. To there. And next level we get some health and mana, which is, eh, not even that helpful. But they're travel points. Actually, no, I can skip those for now. I can come back to them. Keep traveling along. I want to try and make sure I get to Veil Pact when I need it. Because that will be necessary. Ooh, hey, a new leak zone. Wonderful. Let's equip that nonsense immediately. Especially because our other one is about to wear off. Alright, this is the way out. Past this. Is it really right near the entrance? It is. We went... This entire map was a giant loop. Alright. So over here is the way out somewhere. We'll find it. But it's always past to that orb. So at the very least, I know it's got to be on this side of it. Uh, cast on damage taken level 1. Yes, this one we need to get to 4. So we're going. Okay, interesting. And I assume you can have other people just wisp you away to either the things you need to do either wisp you away to the tasks or just bring you straight to one of those waypoints or junctions 
Okay, yeah, that's that's handy. So you just go, I want somebody to bring me to this. And they go, okay, let's go do that. Simple, straightforward. Oh, you silly devourer. You know what? We don't have any microtransaction stuff on this character. I'm not going to go crazy, but I want at least to have some pets. What pets are we going to bring? Where are all of our pets? Ah, here we go. I want... Yeah, we'll go Bronze Gargoyle and the Arctic Lynx. Because <laughs> why not bring cold to a fire character? That'll work. Gargoyle and a Lynx. They keep me chill when I get too hot-headed, clearly. Clearly that's how it works. And a Gargoyle because, you know, screw it, why not? So they can bring you to the missions in a party, but you can't then go back to do it unless you've unlocked it. That's interesting. I guess it encourages social play, which is nice. Whereas I think in all of my time spent in Path of Exile, the only time I've ever really partied with people was you, Cat. I'm pretty sure that was the longest time I spent in a party not trading with somebody. Uh, I used to do dox runs occasionally, but those almost don't count. Hello, Soar. Welcome to Viperland and the chat. What, what? What are you whatting about? Uh, the Warframe community, I imagine, is probably about as good as most other free-to-play game communities. <clears throat> probably snobbish, probably elitist. The whole nine yards could be wrong. They're fantastic! Oh, that's pleasantly shocking. It's really nice when you find a free-to-play game with a good community. That's actually rare, but also fantastic. Like, I'm legitimately surprised, but it's a good surprise. It's a happy surprise. Uh, okay, area boss. Well, we'll just melt him nicely. Beautiful. I kind of wish Scorching Ray had a microtransaction, because I'd probably pick it up for this build. But it doesn't. Oh, uh, well, any team-based game, any, sorry, any popular team-based game is going to have toxic people. Because those people will always, 100% of the time, be convinced that if they lost, it was not their fault. No matter what they did, right or wrong, it wasn't their fault. <clears throat> you see that in... A lot in Overwatch, a lot in League, or pretty much any other MOBA, really. It's any time where like team play can make or break, break a game, you'll find those people. They were they were the spies and the snipers in TF2. They're the Genji mains in in Overwatch that refuse to switch, no matter how many DPS heroes there are, because they saw somebody play pro Genji once, and they're convinced they can do it. Uh. I like the player-driven economies. This game has the same thing, with the exception of the microtransactions, which are cosmetic, or the only non-cosmetic ones are... No, da -da. Like, extra stash tabs, which are not cosmetic, but not, you know, part of the economy. The rest of it's all player-driven, which is nice. Oh, okay. I've never actually played Dota 2, even though it's free. I used to play League of Legends a bit. I'm glad I don't anymore. I like the concept of the game. Like, as a game, I enjoy League of Legends. I just... I don't enjoy playing it with people. <laughs> I would use, I used to play it with against bots. Or uh, when they introduced ARAM, I played that a little bit. Because that takes a lot of the, like, assholery out of it. Because it's like, it's the for fun map. Deal with it. If you played badly, you played badly. You gotta dealt a del del bad ham. It's random. Stuff happens. Oh, you can trade the premium currency. Okay. This one you cannot. In this game, anything you buy, not only can you not trade the currency, but nothing you buy can then be traded. It's solely to make your character look prettier. That's it. Which is nice in a game like this. There's no... You can't 
buy items effectively. You can't go, oh, I'll buy you this $5 real world thing for that really rare item you have. You can't do that. And I kind of like that that's the thing. But it sounds like Warframe does it fairly well. Okay, so the things you buy are bound, but the money used to buy it's not. Okay. Uh, I I wouldn't even know what to do in Dota. Like at least when I played League, I never played it on a high skill level. It was usually me and my at the time girlfriend playing versus bots just dicking around. We'd occasionally play against people, but we were never very good at it at all. But I know Dota has even more things. It's got uh, not just last hitting, but also denying. And I just I don't tend to like games where the metagame is so entirely established. If you pick X character in League of Legends and you don't build it specifically this way, if you pick uh, a character and you want to go top lane, but you're not a character that normally goes top lane, you're playing the game wrong and you're just immediately just, you're terrible. So like, it's, I don't like that firmly established metagame. I don't mind a metagame. Plenty of games have that, that's wonderful. Scorching Ray leveling, yes. Uh, Firestorm and Flamestorm. Which of those? Seven. Hold on, let me see which ones they are. That's the problem with so many duplicates, I don't know which is which. Firestorm. Okay, it's that Firestorm and that Flame Surge that are leveled. And since they are going up to ten, and they are currently seven, we're good. Okay. Ah, uh, I hate when updates screw with FPS. Thankfully, my computer is fairly immune to that now. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's great, because I used to, in this game, get low FPS on anything that caused a lot of screen junk, and now it's just like, it doesn't matter what I do. It's not going to dip below that. It, that FPS is staying there. Like, there's nothing this game could do that would knock that down. Additional rare monsters. When a player in the next area kills a rare monster, gain one of its mods. I love that modifier, by the way. Rare monsters will have a chance to drop a rare prismatic ring. That's a great way to get better rings. So yeah, we're going to equip that nonsense. That thief mod? Oh man, I've had some fun with that in maps. Where I'm just, I think last night I was doing a stream and it's... Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's not a bad thing, uh, cat. Get the bits people need to upgrade to the best stuff, sell it for the microtransaction, and there you go. Oh yeah, if you've been away for that long, in any game that gets updates, even if it doesn't, any game based that much on skill, it's gonna... it's gonna suck. I don't know, I just... I like the concept of a MOBA, but that's because I like playing characters and trying different ways to play them. But at this rate, you're not encouraged to try different ways to play them, because if you're not playing it like this, you're wrong, and you're going to lose the game. So it's, I don't know. I feel like if I was gonna play another MOBA, I'd probably give Heroes of the Storm a try. Because it seems to be a slightly... I don't want to say noob-friendly, because it's not entirely what I mean, but it's the best way I can think to put it. But it seems to be a slightly more accessible uh, MOBA. I'm not really jumping at the bit to do it, but if I were to give another one a shot, it would probably be that one. Excuse me, I've never actually played it. Again, it's a free game. I have the Blizzard launcher installed, obviously. Because I play WoW, I play Diablo, I play Hearthstone, I play Overwatch. All poorly, mind you. When I say I play a game, that doesn't mean I'm competitive. It just means, ah, I enjoy this game. So, that's pretty awesome. It's, you know, given our current time and place in gaming... Finding games like Warframe and Path of Exile that do microtransactions but do it well and fairly are just rare and should be celebrated when they're found. Path of Exile, when I started playing it four years ago? Four years ago! Holy crap, I think it was. Maybe I'm wrong, I think it was 2013, it might have been 14. Either way, when I started playing in closed beta, the only way you could get in, other than 
if you were randomly invited, which was not common, was to just spend any amount of money towards the game. If you bought any amount of points, microtransaction points, you got a beta key. I spent enough to get my Kiwi pet, because I love the Kiwi pet, and he's adorable, and I regret nothing. From that point, they, they always said, we will not make anything... It will never be pay to play. It will only ever be cosmetic. And now, years later, they have held to that, and I love it. I'm very happy about that. Same thing, same reason I'm loving Horizon Zero Dawn. Not only is it a fantastic game, and should definitely be celebrated for just being a damn fun game that is polished and enjoyable, it's also an exclusively single player experience, which, as much as I love multiplayer, and multiplayer in games is great. Not every game needs multiplayer, as is being proven by Breath of the Wild and Horizon Zero Dawn. But Horizon Zero Dawn also hasn't shoehorned in uh, any microtransactions or DLC at all. If they do DLC for it, it's not day one DLC. We've been planning this for months. It's a, oh man, people like this game. Maybe we should, after we finish the game, work on some extra content, which is fine. That's what DLC should be. And I'm okay with and I, I feel like in a time and age where Activision keeps making Call of Duty's pay to win with loot boxes and adding more and more paid DLC and all of this type of stuff is rampant, getting games that do it fairly or don't even do it at all is rare and wonderful. I got nothing against developers trying to make a little more money, but when they're actively screwing people over, you might want to stop. Just. Clearly they get away with it. Activision's not going to sell fewer copies of Call of Duty because it's got loot crates in it. They've proven that repeatedly. Let's say. Oh, you're going to see moving theaters. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, I'm, I'm slowly catching up on chat. I went on my little rant there. Uh, da -da. Oh, nice. Thank you, Cat. I, while that's a fantastic offer, I can say that I currently don't have any plans to play it. Not because I think it's bad or anything, just because I got more Path of Exile to play. I still haven't finished Horizon Zero Dawn. I still haven't finished Neo. I still haven't bought Nier Automata. I still haven't finished, uh, what was it? Tomb Raider, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I got for the holidays. I still don't even have Persona 5 yet. Like, my gaming calendar is full. I saw the R. Sorry. So, like, I appreciate the invite, and that's a fantastic offer. But right now, I've got so much on my gaming plate, I can't imagine adding another... I can't imagine another... Any game, really, being added to that. It's... It's a good problem to have, but it's still a problem of just too many damn games to play. All of them coming out at the same time, all of them being fantastic. Fair enough, Cat, and I will remember that for sure. I mean, of course, if Team Four Stars taught us anything, it's that you have to support the official release. But I've been known to occasionally download things. Rarely, rarely. Mostly, honestly, the only things I download lately are anime that aren't on Crunchyroll. If I'm looking to watch something and it's on neither Crunchyroll or Netflix, I'll download it. And uh, Game of Thrones, because we don't get HBO. So when Game of Thrones episodes comes out, I, I occasionally download those. And by occasionally, I mean it all the time. I do not condone piracy. You should definitely not pirate anything. Don't go anywhere and say, hey, Viper from Viperland said to pirate things. Don't do it. I'm just admitting that I myself occasionally might. Well, that's the great thing, especially if it's a free-to-play game that's being updated, like Path of Exile or Warframe or countless others, including League of Legends and Dota, as mentioned earlier. They, they've they got a long life out of them, so as long as they stay in any way popular. Like, I wish I knew. That's got to be Flame Blast or something. I've got a skill that keeps dropping meteors, but I don't even know which skill it is. <laughs> Just kind of sad. I do not know, Cat. What movie were you talking about, Sora? I see the link. I'm not sure what... Oh, okay. Got it. Yes. 
so you're right. I don't necessarily torrent it. I think I use a different anime watching website, but I do occasionally use an anime watching website. Lately, I don't need to because I've got Crunchyroll and I've got a... <laughs> Definitely pirating, clearly. Uh, no, pirating's not okay. But I'd be lying if I said I've never done it. Oh, stupid. Not able to attack curse. Rarely. I try to keep it to an absolute minimum. Yeah, I also, like, if it's on Crunchyroll or Netflix, I will watch it there. I have subscriptions to those, and I will gladly pay for it. Kimi no Nawa. You mentioned that one the other day, but I'm not, I don't think I've heard of it before. Hey, got a level, got some skill gems, and a new leak zone. Wonderful. I am not up to date on a lot of anime stuff. I'm only just now starting to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so I'm I'm definitely behind. For sure. Oh, it's on Twitch. Huh. I mean, I'm sure that happens more often than I'd expect. Alright, we do still have stuff to level. We've got Castle Channeling can definitely level up whenever. Magma Orb and Fireball... I think 12? Fireball and Magma Orb stay at 12, yes. So we right-click those so they don't level anymore. We pop our skill point over here, I think. I mean, yeah, if you're going to pirate it, you don't always get quality. Yeah, we're moving over that way. Going all the way down. All right, so we're going this way, down here. Elemental damage. Ooh, critical strike chance. Beautiful. And we're going down that way. So, yeah. I don't always pay, not that I always pirate it, but I mean, I don't have a standing subscription to Cr Crunchyroll. I kind of do it on a month-by-month -month basis. If there's something I specifically want to watch, I'll subscribe. When I don't, I unsubscribe until there's something I want to watch again. Anger can keep leveling. Damn it, how do we get over there? Accidents uh, causing you to re-download Warframe? Ooh, yes. If you, I mean, if it's a movie, especially if it's a movie you enjoyed anyway, you gotta support it. And it's, if it's showing in theaters, that's pretty awesome. I don't, oh, hold on. That's level two. That goes up to four, so we're still good. Railgun on a stick. That sounds fun. Uh, Blasphemy can keep leveling. Wonderful. Still going up floors. Haven't made it to the boss yet. I think the next floor is the boss, maybe? Ah, I was hoping that was a 5 link. I could use a 5 link, that would be nice. But it would have to be specifically armor ES. If we got an evasion in there... Uh, honestly, if it was pure ES, it would also be okay. But if it was pure armor, or evasion was in there anywhere, we're never rolling the socket colors we need. Yeah, the U.S. does tend to be late to get releases for anything fun. Maybe not anything, but several things. I will click that. Just in case we die, we shouldn't, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Wow, UK got screenings in October? Holy crap. Uh, this boss takes forever to be summoned because all these little gears have to... I mean, I get thematically, but on subsequent playthroughs, they should be able to speed it up. Like, when you do it your first time on normal, I get it. It makes sense. Alright, come on, pop out of the ground so we can shoot at you with lasers. Alright, we may as well pre-shoot a little. He summons in some minions. Yeah, so he's definitely not dropping as quickly as he did on the summoner, but whatever. There you are. Oh, we're standing in chilled ground. And lightning. Ah, oh, gotta dodge that a bit. What are you gonna hit us with? More minions? That's fine, you're dead. Gauntlets? I don't think we need gauntlets, but I'll check them. And I'll check a wand, but I'm really doubtful. Let's see, I'll check the Warframe wiki real quick. That is a railgun on a stick? Yeah, 
none of those numbers mean much to me, knowing very little of the game, but just the picture of it, it's, it's a railgun on a stick. Very accurate description. It would be great if I could get some move speed boots. I think our current ones have freaking nothing. 8% move speed. I guess it's better than nothing. But move speed goes up to like 30%. So 8 isn't really cutting it. But I had the sockets I needed, so you know, you make do. Also, we'll get move speed from this guy because he's a berserker. So, nope, never mind. We got something else from him. Welp, I was hoping we were going to get the Berserker, and then we got nothing. Whatever. It happens. All you little bugs get exploded. Oh, hey, look, an area boss. It would be a shame if we just melted him with fire. Repeatedly. Look at that. Totally dead. Oh, yeah, they do have a better chance to drop prismatics here. You're very serious about a railgun on a stick? I'm sure the people you target with her are also very serious about it. Seriously injured. I have not been watching any current anime. Right now, I've been slowly making my way through JoJo, usually watching about half an, hour, half an episode between when I get out of work and when my bus shows up at nights. When it's not too cold to hold my phone, which it has been. I don't actually know what's even airing this season. I don't tend to keep up to date on things. I think the only anime I've ever watched while it was airing, like actively watching while it was airing, was Food Wars. I tend to get my anime after the fact. I've got a bunch of friends that watch a ton of anime, and they weed through the garbage and go, Hey, Viper, these ones are pretty damn good. You might want to check them out. And I inevitably... Just don't have time to do it. I don't actively ignore them. I want to check them out, but I usually don't have time. But JoJo kept coming up, and it was one that was highly recommended by them, and I just knew I'd like it. Like, knowing what I knew about the show, I knew it'd be enjoyable to me. You have room for that? We do. Beautiful. So damage taken is garbage right now. Don't need it. So right now it's just... Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's just JoJo. And I'm still on JoJo 3. I just hit... What is it, Stardust Crusaders? I'm only a few episodes in. So I'm, I'm not flying through either. So intelligence, which we need a bunch of. We would lose cold resist. No, nope, we'd gain cold resist, which we don't need. Keep life the same. No, that's about equal to what we'd have. A little bit more armor, but yeah, whatever. What of our gloves? Attack speed, it doesn't matter. Accuracy doesn't matter. Armor barely matters. So it's really just 28 life and the right sockets. But it is the right socket, so honestly that's enough for now. Armor ES might be able to sway me. It's going to be tough to beat that wand right now. Even though it's a wand I got at level 28. Uh, we'll have more spell damage. Increased cold damage doesn't help. Nope, that's not good. We hold on to those. We can sell that. 10% all elemental resists. We already get on our other ring. Plus another 6. That's okay. We don't need the cold resist from that, so it actually might be nice. 39 to life. We lose life. That might still be worthwhile. Let's check that real quick. Does this bring my defenses up or down? 62 to 68. Very slightly up, and we lose a little life. I feel like that's worthwhile. It's enough for me. No, oh, 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 no, don't sell those. That would just downgrade it as currency. So, yeah. It hits like a train coming off the rails, slamming into a mobile home. That's only at level one. Not bad. That is not bad at all. Yeah, I, I got pretty hooked on Food Wars. Between the time when season, well, while season two was airing, so I just shotgunned all of season one and just started season two while it was airing and pretty much kept up with it. Other than that, I don't tend to watch a lot of current animes just because of timing reasons. I don't avoid it, I just I don't usually have time. Ah, Borderlands. We need more Borderlands in life. 
I also think Borderlands 2 is the game I own on the most systems. I own it on PC, I own it on PS3, I own it on PS Vita, and I own it on PS4. I own Borderlands 2 on four separate systems. And I believe that holds my record for the game I own, I've owned the most number of times. Let's see, uh, hopefully that's... no, that's not the fireball. What the hell one is that? A level 11 fireball somewhere. Where the flip is it? And does it need to be higher? Firestorm, Scorching Ray, Firestorm, Flame Surge, Fireball 11. I think it needs to go up to 13. It does need to go up to 13. Beautiful. Keep it going. Oh, slight latency spikes. You can see it up there, and you can probably see it with the, uh, getting a few dropped frames there. Yep. That's, uh, that's happening. Kingdom Hearts 2 is a, a strong one. I think I still only own Kingdom Hearts 2. I didn't buy 2.5. And I might get it when it comes to PS4, though. I legitimately might. Why do we have Resist Aura? Oh, because we got it from Headhunter. Why is our latency spiking terribly? You guys are probably getting quite a few dropped frames. Yeah. Ripstream, indeed. Uh, yeah, it keeps being really bad. Getting better for a second. Really bad. I, I have no reason for this unless Steam is acting up. Which it is not. It's not downloading anything. So it's just... Yeah. PS2, PS3. And yeah, so I'll probably get the PS4 version. But I don't know if I'll have time to even play it. Like, there's so many other games. I love Kingdom Hearts. And I would like to play the Final Mix versions, because I never got to. All that extra content would be nice. Well, this is... This is great. In-game latency, stream latency. I'm going to see if we can just wait and power through it. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, the cinnamon! <laughs> I'm just gonna type it, it's easier. The plus side is, this build is very unlikely to die. <laughs> even if they, even if things do find me over here. Well, we'll just zoom in on that guy's... Oh, it's my pet. Okay. Here, we'll face the camera. We'll face the camera, at least. Ah, uh, this is... This is excitement at its finest, folks. Yeah, we sell those Oreos at my store. I've only bought them, like, twice for D&D &D nights, but... They were always a hit when I did. Wow, I've just got solidly bad latency. I'm not doing anything that I'm aware of. Let's see. Yeah. My signal strength is okay. But it's just... Everything's bad. Yeah. I've not tried to go Wombo Combo on the PC. It's probably just somebody downloading something, honestly. Or uploading something. Uploading tends to kill my stuff even more, actually. Uh, would not be surprised if my brother was uploading, like, pictures or something. My brother is a photographer, so, like, when he uploads pictures, it's not like... It's not small pictures, but it's also something for his profession, so it's not like 
Like, I understand why he's got to do it. I wish I were to get some form of heads up, like, hey, you're usually streaming late at night. This is also when I do this. At least let me let you know. Be warned. This stuff might impact you. I have Netflix. I'm not currently streaming. On, I'm not usually. I'm not currently watching anything on it, obviously. But I do have it. I have Netflix and Crunchyroll at the moment. I also realize you guys are going to be on a hell of a delay now. So me saying yes, I have Netflix is going to take a while to reach you. I want to at least try and get to the waypoint up here. And I was having fun playing this game. So, like, even if I were to cut the stream now, I still wouldn't be able to play this game with this latency. So that's, you know, a negative. But I'd like to try and find the waypoint. Because, uh, probably, yeah. But it that happens all the time. We actually have decent enough internet that that usually doesn't impact things. Honestly, even with several of us watching Netflix, like, I've I've been streaming while people have been watching Netflix before, and it really hasn't had this impact at all. This is... something's happening. It's... judging by the way it's doing this, it's probably him doing photo uploads, because you would clearly be able to see the one photo's done, pause while it starts another upload, uploading the other photo, that's done. That would explain the kind of up-and-down nature of it there. No audio delay? That's even funnier. That doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I'm up to over over 7,000 dropped frames. Yay. This is glorious. I'm just trying to make my way to the waypoint, and then I'm going to either wait another minute and cut the stream, or see if it gets better. I don't know. Every time it's like, oh, it might be better, it might be better, it just shoots right back up again. Ugh. So yeah, it, whatever it is, it's beyond my control. It could also be that it's really windy out, and when it's windy out, it does impact my internet, but usually it impacts it by just knocking it out, as we found on Thursday this week, where it was just like, oh, hey, look, Monster Hunter, gone. So, uh, yeah, it's my... My output is, oh, okay, suddenly just fill the second screen, thank you. My output is dropping down to like 900 down here. Yeah, under 900 sometimes, where I usually stream at 2,000. So, it's it's not going well. Also, streamception. Ooh. Okay, sorry. It's beginning... I'm going to let it go for another minute. I'll just keep chatting with you fine folk for the moment. Uh, Jet Dragon. Yeah, it's going to be a fun fight. I'm going to see if it gets better, but right now it doesn't seem like it's going too quickly. But I'll give it another minute. You never know. I don't want to jump the gun. Again, I was really looking forward to playing this character in this game tonight, but... That might be out. I've got other things to play, but still, it would be a shame. Yeah, the Jet Dragon, uh, that looks really cool, and I definitely look forward to fighting it, for sure. I'm still more hyped for Deviant Mizutsune. Like, any of the new, De new Deviants, actually. Like, even the Deviant Crab looks pretty cool. Though, clearly, he's not my favorite. But all the new Deviant Faded 4s look like a lot of fun. I probably won't watch their fights when the game comes out in Japanese. Does it have a name? It Does it? I don't know. If it does, I don't know it. Honestly, when the game comes out in Japan, shortly, I think it's within the week, I probably won't actually watch any footage. I got no problem watching trailers and hearing things, but I don't want to see the full fight until I can play it. That's just how I roll. I will look at the armor when people start posting pictures of the Deviant Mizutsune armor. I want to see that. But I won't watch, like, a full fight. Same reason I had never seen a full Mizutsune fight until I got Generations. I never saw a full... Uh, I never saw a full Amatsu fight until I tried to solo that Amatsu that time. That was my first time seeing the monster in the full fight. Uh... Yeah, it's still not great. 
Oh, this stream is... it's going well. Alright, well, I'm gonna say this probably isn't going to be getting better quickly. It's been going on for... Let's say... 23... It's been going on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna say... This is probably just how it's going to be for now. It sucks. I don't like it. But that's where we're going to have to cut the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching for the hour and 20 minute stream tonight. I said it was going to be a bit shorter. That's not quite what I expected. Either way, I appreciate you guys tuning in, chatting, watching me blow stuff up with fire. I will be back tomorrow. Probably. Uh, I have a very long and very busy day of work. If I'm not exhausted after work, I will totally be streaming. I have no other plans. But it's entirely possible I get home and I just pass the hell out. So I can't make a guaranteed commitment. If I do stream tomorrow, it will be either this character, or the other Path of Exile character, or Horizon Zero Dawn, or possibly No Man's Sky. I want to try the new update. So that might be, if I am exhausted after work, a nice chill thing to play. But I can't commit to anything because I'm not sure. Tomorrow has the potential to be absolutely insane. We will find out. Either way, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the terrible slideshow end of this stream. I am unhappy with it, but I am also unable to change anything. See you all next time.